Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. Sorry if the sun's blinding you, I just noticed it right above my head, but uh, we got something a little different today for you. So we received a 2023 Lance 1575. This is one of Lance's single torsion axle trailers. You have the 1475 and then this baddie right here, the 1575 anything larger than this then you head into tandem axle territory so the 1575 here loaded the same way this one sits is 3655 pounds that is dry weight you start adding your luggage uh, water propane all that good stuff get it loaded down to stay for a week or two and you're going to be above that but as it sits 3655 pounds so really, I would think any of your mid-sized trucks would be able to handle this, Jim. I just got rid of the Tacoma and I think uh, towing capability was right over 6,000 pounds. So it shouldn't have had any struggle at all with this. But uh, anyways, I guess we'll just, uh, oh wait, the price. Everybody's going to want to know price. Let's get to that and hit the nail right on the head. This one, as it sits, starts out at $58,775 with all the added equipment like the antenna lte wi-fi extender awnings backup camera all that good stuff solar panels etc you're going to sit at sixty five thousand five hundred and forty six dollars retail okay so we should be able to move on here we'll start at the rear this one does have the manual uh, stabilizer jacks on the larger models you'll be able to get the electrics this one comes standard with the uh, manuals right here you have an external compartment AC plug-in so you can actually plug in your outside TV that's what this is for and it comes with a mount to hold a TV in place there then you've also got USB and DC outlets over here behind this locked door right here you're gonna see this little guy that says JBL that right there is an external mount for a JBL radio. This thing, I thought it was really neat. It surprised me that it had a JBL sound system. So whoever buys this thing is going to be bumping. All the neighbors going to be coming to see you. On the outside, you're going to notice that we have double pane tinted acrylic windows. These guys pop up or pop out real far, let a lot of ambient light in and natural light. And I'm not talking the beer, I'm talking about like natural ambient light. Patio lights right here. I can't believe I just like did not look at the top here. You have the patio lights, those are two way. You have like an amber light and a LED white light. And then this uh, power awning on the side uh, kicks out, has auto wind sensing. So if it gets too windy, it's gonna roll itself back in and has a sick LED light bar at the end of it or a light strip, not bar. Okay, so underneath the belly here, you've got this massive pass-through belly storage. And it, I don't know exactly how much weight it holds, but I just laid in it to see if I fit in it. And of course, you know I do because this thing's massive. But then I started tinkering and exploring with stuff like I do every day on everything. This actually leads into the inside of the camper. Look at that. Not trying to, you know, give away sneak peeks and all, but thought that was really cool you know you got children that go with you they could use this thing as a fortress just start crawling everywhere you'd probably lose them not a good idea does have a light right here you just uh hit that right there and the light will come on if you have batteries which this thing doesn't have batteries yet this switch right here controls the lights on the front of the camper we'll get to that here in a minute but then you have this massive sewage pipe that leads through like straight through the camper they need to put these on the truck campers. That'd be neat as heck. Okay. Front of the camper. You also have a tinted dual paint or double pane acrylic window on the front here. Nice, awesome Lance sticker right there. Uh, shipping sticker. I still got to get the adhesive off here. I was just focused on getting all the smeared bugs off of it from its long journey. Uh, these are the lights that I was talking about that you control on that switch on the inside of the compartment there. And just like the rear, you have the manual stabilizer 
jacks on the front as well. Comes with its own little uh, handle to crank those. So I think I had this thing set up in five minutes or less. All right, so under the uh, cover that says propane, of course, that's where you're going to find your propane tank. You get one single 20 pound propane tank with this one, and then your battery's going to go under there as well. Keep it covered from the elements. This right here is an electric jack. You don't have to sit here and crank on the tongue to get it leveled out. You just use these up and down arrows. Two and five sixteenths ball required for this. I believe that's it for the front there. We'll move on down to the side. Everything up here is going to be the same ordeal as the other side. You have this massive pass through where you can access your sewage pipe and then pass through storage on, on this side as well, obviously. Main battery off and on disconnect switch. Water pump everything very easy to access and get to pick up tube to winterize call this little ordeal here the external hand warmer what it is is this is where the truma system kicks out the uh, I, I can't even think of what i'm trying to say but i call it the external hand warmer all right so you've actually got an onboard 26 gallon fresh water tank you feel that right here this right here is where you plug in the city water so if you're boondocking you're going to be pulling from your fresh water tank at the campground you can go ahead and uh plug in your city water hose or you know not every you know camping ordeal is ideal weather wise if you're afraid of you know your hose freezing up you can still even use the fresh water tank if you're at the campsite this is going to be your 30 amp source where you plug in. Park and satellite connections. External shower. You can give your fellow campground stayers a nice show. Or you can use it, of course, for rinsing off the feet, the dog, uh, cooking utensils, and all that good stuff. Heated and cooled water. Okay, so this model right here comes standard with this massive slide out, really opens it up on the inside. This insulated door here, you have a magnetic strip to hold it up. You don't have to worry about it falling on your head looking in here. Massive storage space. For this size of a camper, I'm really impressed with the amount of storage that it has. Then underneath, this is where you're going to find and of course all this is a lot easier to do when you're first setting up the camper slides in and everything you got your gray water and your black water all comes out this main tube right here underneath so you're going to have a 26 gallon capacity on the gray water and a 26 gallon capacity on the body waste on the rear here that rhymed you have this sick bumper uh, in, in case you're you know backing up and you can't see what's going on in the backup camera and you bump into something hopefully that'll protect you know your little investment here your toy uh, if somebody goes to rear end you that probably ain't going to do much license plate holder missing a screw from the hall no problem we'll add another one nice led lighting and right underneath here where it says caution this is going to be your black water flush so it has that built into the trailer here. When you're emptying your sewage, you can hook up to this and rinse that black tank out. Obviously there's no ladder, so I can't take you up on the roof, but uh, let's go check out the inside. I can't believe y'all almost let me forget. Your trailer's wrapped with Goodyear Endurance uh, tires, so that's definitely an upgrade from others. And then coming in, you have these Glow Step Revolution steps leading into it uh, made by torque lift okay let's get on in here where should we start the front that makes sense okay so right off the bat when you walk in you have your queen size bed off to the right now you're going to ask if there's storage underneath this if you paid attention through the exterior walkthrough 
Yeah, you got storage under this thing and you can even access it from the outside. Pretty sweet, right? Right above uh, where you walk in, I've already got this thing pulled out, but you have a swinging TV. Uh, it is a Jensen LED TV. Little King Jack deal here so you can pick up local channels. Max air fan, and this does have the built-in rain sensor on it. Over here, you're going to find your JBL uh, radio system. I haven't, you know, I, like I said outside, I was really impressed with this. I've got a JBL audio system in my truck and that thing bumps. So, it, like I said outside, whoever gets this thing, you're going to be really impressed with the radio system. Thermostats right here on the wall. Easy, like very convenient. Battery monitor right here on the wall. You can see it uh, from the bed. Very convenient. This right here that says King on it, that's going to be your Wi-Fi extender. Slide out, in and out, super convenient. Oh, let's see, what else is up here? Day and night shades. Let's show you those. So, of course, you got your day shades. And then night shades. And that's going to be on every single window in here. Glad to see that those aren't back ordered and missing anymore. Super cool. Okay, let's move on. Good size closet when you walk in. You could also use this as a pantry, it looks like. You have your closet close, uh, clothes bar up here. Then you could even use this as more storage or like a pantry type deal. You can fit a lot of Doritos and a case of beer down here below. This hidden gem underneath is going to be your Truman Comey system. Or combi, I you know everybody pronounces it different. I usually say combi. Some people say combi, but you know I haven't Googled it to see how Google you know pronounces it. But anyways, this guy right here, this is a actual like it. It's a furnace and a water heater all in one. So obviously it's going to take up less space, uh, more efficient. And this is what everybody's raving about now is these Truma systems very game-changing for the RV industry right we've got our Norcold fridge here separated fridge and freezer nice size fit plenty of meats and stuff in there deli meats and whatever you know people usually take camping that actually cook mine's usually just loaded up with beer and TV dinner, so I guess I'm, I'm kind of boring when it comes to the whole cooking. I'm no Gordon Ramsay, that's for sure. Switch up here, that's to actually run your Truma system. You control the furnace portion and the water heater portion through this uh, panel right here. This is where you're going to see how many volts and amps are going to, going to your battery from the solar panel on top, and that is a 190 watt solar panel. This switch right here allows you to run the fridge off the 12 volt battery. Okay, let's keep moving. I wanna go ahead and get this out of the way. So the tabletop, funny enough, is actually the first, the, the oddest thing I've ever had back ordered. So this one right now, I'm acting like this is a tabletop. That's our back order form. As soon as it comes in, it goes with the trailer. But I would love to show you how to make this guy into a bed right here. But unfortunately, no table. And without a table, I'm not going to get very far with that. So we'll, we'll go over the rest of the dinette now. LED mood lighting, I call it. You got the little mood switch over here that makes it either dim, bright. It's the dimmer switch, basically, duh. little bit of space over here in the cabinets I've had previous customers tell me that these are good storage compartments for wine and liquor got our classic little clock here on the wall the Howard Miller clock of course it doesn't have batteries in it batteries not included Down here, you're going to find some more storage. So like I said, for this size of a camper, there's storage everywhere. And I know that that's very, very important. You can't be slacking on storage. Oh, there's even a 
whole thing down here. Okay, cool. Looks like you have some access to some wiring. Then the ducted heat is ran back through there. Didn't even notice that the first time walking through it. All right. Got some AC plugins down here, of course. Looks like a little CO2 monitor. Okay, the kitchen. That's the next thing on the to-do list to mark off. Where should we start? From top, bottom? Sure, let's do it. I think they call this like European style cabinetry. Looks real slick, modernized. So you've got quite a bit of room for, you know, the red solos, the paper plates, uh, let's see, pots, pans, rags, spices, all that good stuff. This compartment's where they hide your, uh, <laughs> I almost say refrigerator, your microwave. Pop that open, pretty good sized microwave. But I think that's cool how they hide it, tuck it away. Everything looks nice and clean and flush. Okay, so this model's gonna have the three burner suburban stove top and oven. This is the same one that was in my Lance 975. Loved it, super convenient. Has the igniter down in the bottom there so you don't have to stick a lighter up in it. AC plug-ins for your crock pots, Instapots, Keurigs, all that modernized stuff that everybody has to have. You have this sink cover. I'll leave it here while it's during travel, but it allows for more countertop space for prep while cooking. You can easily remove it. If you need to do dishes, you know, wash your hands, you know, whatever you're gonna be using it for. Okay, underneath, even more space for storage. Oh, that's cool. Look at this, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so over here, you're gonna have storage. Usually, under the sink is where I keep all my cleaning equipment and, you know, all the necessities like paper plates and stuff. I usually don't keep it up there. I was just freestyling, but this is usually where I kept all my cleaning equipment, rags and uh, paper plates and stuff that's not really, you know, food. You got pull out drawers over here to the right. Kind of jealous my camper didn't have this. It's a great way to stay organized, that's for sure. Put your spices and canned goods in there. All right. Control panel. This is where you check your battery, fresh, black, gray water levels. It'll either show empty, one third, two thirds, or full. So uh, like I said outside, it's 26 across the board each. 26 on the fresh water, 26 on the gray, 26 on the black. This is where you run your water pump if you were to pull from your fresh water tank. Lightings, uh, let's see, galley lights, sink, soffit. I think I said that right. Right on, Brad. And then this model also has the dry bath. That's what it looked like right there. All right, so this one I like because it's got the fiberglass walls. Super neat, super sturdy, super strong. Super, super, super. All the black accented stuff is very modern. I like it, looking good. Shower pan down there. Nice caulking all around, make sure no water is snicking its way anywhere. But yeah, then you've got your John. These are plastic, they're not like a, a, shoot, what's that word I'm looking for? It's not ceramic, it's, um, I'll think of it as soon as I shut off the camera. But yeah, plenty of room to use the John. You can shut the door, see ya. But yeah, dry bath, and then you've got your medicine cabinet right behind it. Fan to air it out up in here. Get all the humidity out. The stink out then you got another fan right here these are pre-wired for a second max air fan so that's good pretty sweet i'll meet you back outside before we go outside can't forget about my cpap users ac plug-ins up here in the bed usb outlets dc outlet but yes cpap users you have a place to plug in over here gotcha okay so like i said i believe that was my 
third all-time travel trailer walk around walk through going through all that good stuff super fun i enjoyed doing it hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as i did making it if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up button lets youtube know that i might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch uh, if you have any questions uh interested in a unit truck camper pull behind anything i, I don't i don't care you got questions call me 423-892-6272 you can also comment in the comments below i try to answer as many of those as i see sometimes i don't see them all so it's best to call email will be in the description below but i, I promise you we can get a week's worth of emails done in five minutes on the phone i won't take much of your time your time's valuable i get it so is mine um but anyways like i said let me pull out the paper again that way i know i'm reading correctly and telling you the correct information this thing right here 2023 1575 loaded exactly how this is is 3655 pounds retail on this one without the option starts out at fifty eight thousand seven hundred and seventy five dollars loaded out to this one specs you're at sixty five thousand five hundred and forty six dollars i'm reading everything right off the lance sheet here nothing to hide but like i said got more questions or you're interested in it call us 423-892-6272 and that'll be in the description below too in case you you know skip through this part and didn't hear me talking about the phone number but uh yeah i believe that's all i got for you stay tuned we finally got a sunny day that's why i'm out here i get we've had two weeks straight of nothing but rain we finally got a sunny day and of course you know that my butt's already out here doing videos i'm loving every bit of it so uh until next time y'all take care stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one